Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today is March 9th, 2024. Let's take a quick look at the markets and then we'll go through my trades for the week. Starting with SPX, another all-time high, 51.89 before the big sell-off on Friday. NDX also hit a new all-time high, 18,416 before the big sell-off. Uh, Russell uh, had a sell-off as well, obviously not a new all-time high. Dow also did not make a new all-time high, just kind of trending sideways. Gold, all-time high, 22.03. Uh, silver was up for the week as well. Notes and bonds were higher. Uh, Ten-year yield settling in at 4.074. Oil, choppy sideways. Natty gas, a little bit lower for the week. Soybeans. A little push on Thursday and Friday to put it up for the week. Wheat. Bounce on Friday, but lower for the week. Euro, pushing higher. Pound, pushing higher with uh, weakness in the U.S. dollar. And Bitcoin, a new all-time high, 71,055. Uh, VIX settling in at 14.74. Had a couple of pops above 15 before settling back into the 14 handle. All right, on to my trades. So a little bit of a frustrating week. Really nice early in the week. Uh, my accounts were hitting new all-time equity highs and then gave it all back and dug myself a little hole later in the week. So let's go through the zero DTE, my AM trades, three trades, uh, a little over 5,100 on those. Uh, on my challenge portfolio, I'll just put all those together since this is... Uh, Part of my challenge portfolio. <clears throat> Let me refresh this. So minus 10k for the week. I uh, had some winners on some re-entries, and then and then, but more losers, uh, and then some ricks that uh, all together, and then one DTEs. Those are part of my challenge portfolio. So minus 10k for the week on those. Uh, end of day Magic Mahomes trades. I uh, had one decent loser, yeah, 4,100, and then a, this one was a test on NDX, and this one was just a kind of a, a tiny trade that I got in, just basically a scratch. So minus 3,800 on those for the week. No FOMC trades. JSPs, I took some discretionary JSPs that did not work out so hot, kind of trying to catch a falling knife entering around the uh, the expected move, but Minus 11K on those for the week. Uh, my NDX trades, uh, I took one extra on this day here. Minus 2,600 on the week. Um, so you can see, I think it was, yeah, it was, yeah, it was this one. I added this, uh, just a small second one in. I was kind of testing some fills. But um, anyway, net, net loser for the week. Power Hour. Power Hour, I did not have one stinking winning trade for the week. Let me uncheck that. Yeah, 0% win rate. That that hurts. That, that was painful. Uh, some of these are very high probability setups based on the price action that was going on, but just got brutalized. So minus 30K on my Power Hour. Uh, PM... My PM trades did not fare any better. So basically, if I just would have stuck with trading in the morning and then took the rest of the day off, I would have been better off this week. Uh, minus 14, minus, almost 15K on my PMs. No winners on my, on my PM trades. So kind of a rough, and th those were all basically Thursday and Friday. Uh, doing some kind of discretionary price action, zero DTE. Those did not do well either. Minus 12K on those. Uh, my my quiet midday tranches, only one winner on that. Minus about 4K. O2 call calendar, just one of those, plus 600. Uh, time flies, I think I just added one. Yeah, no no closing trades there. there. Uh, dynamic calendars were green for the week. 
get all those checked. Got some nice calendar trades. Uh, plus 3,500. For the week, I had a couple. This is one day. I had a 1-3 and a 1-2. Both of those were little losers, but the rest of my uh, calendar trades for the week were winners. Uh, directional futures, a little bit red for the week. Down a couple thousand on those. Get all these unchecked. Wish there was a quicker way to do this in Trader Sync, but there's not. Yeah, minus 21.98, uh, about a 55% win rate on my directional futures for the week. Uh, no closing ducks, just one open. Uh, MOC trades, I don't think I had any of those. Yeah. Option selling. Uh, just one closed trade, a small winner on VXX. Uh, that was a roll, so that one's still open. Portfolio margin. Get all these checked. Uncheck my options selling. All right, so portfolio margin. Refresh that, make sure that's right. Yeah, slightly red. So I uh, took a loss on a Humpty. Uh, another small loss on a Humpty. Another a win on a Humpty, net, net, a little bit red. So not a week I'd like to remember. Uh, like I said, I, you know, just, there's really, really I'm not unhappy with the way that I traded, but really, you know, it was one of those things where the market just won this week. And so uh, it seems to be kind of my theme of the year. I'll start pushing back up to new equity highs and then things will just get brutal for a couple of days. And I have, I dig myself a hole that I've got to claw back out of. And so, you know, my futures account is just under all time highs. My challenge portfolio is just, just barely under all time highs. My, my big portfolio margin account is the one that is in a drawdown. And then my calendar account is coming back nicely, still slightly down from its from its peak, but uh, but coming back nicely. So it's really just the one main account, and uh, you know just some of the some of the volatility of my P and L and that that's been a little bit frustrating. But next week is a new week. Look forward to it. Everybody have a good rest of your weekend. Talk to you soon.